Transition low lunge. Plant your hands in front of you and just pick up your back knee. Now right away, exhale half pigeon prep. So heel toe your right foot over to the left and bring your shin down to the ground. Hook your right toes around your left wrist and go ahead and touch your right knee to your right wrist. Back toes tuck, knee lifted, gaze forward of your fingers, draw your right hip back and your left hip forward. Now exhale, press up, extend your legs and lift your hips up into the air. Draw your right hip back, your left hip forward. Stay on the pinky edge side of your right foot. Reach the crown of your head towards your fingertips and see if you can find a neutral spine. Now inhale, lower down, bring your right knee to your right wrist, avoid collapsing so we're staying strong and engaged here. Exhale, right back up, back leg strong and engaged, front knee extending and pull your right hip back and your left hip forward. Now see if you can find neutral. Can we get a little bit more length in the spine? Reach the crown of the head towards your toes or towards your fingertips. Inhale, lower back down, bring your right knee to your right wrist and then exhale right away, back up. Press up and back. Inhale, lower down, bring your right knee to your right wrist. Stay active and engaged, slide your shoulder blades back and down, lots of scapular stability, and then right back up. And then let's go ahead and hold here. Stay on the pinky side of your right foot, draw your right hip back and take a deep breath in through your nose. And let your deep breath out through your nose, through the mouth, whatever feels best to you. Nice deep inhale through the nose. And then go ahead and exhale out through the nose or mouth. One more, inhale, and then exhale, lower back down. So bring your right knee back to your right wrist. Half pigeon, go ahead and untuck your back toes and reach your left leg away from you. So find lots of length here. Reaching through your toes, back leg is parallel. Flex your front ankle and lengthen your spine. So when we flex the front ankle, we activate some muscles in the anterior shin, create a little bit better traction for the knee or alignment of the knee. And then exhale, walk forward. So bring your forearms forward. We're just gonna rest on the forearms. Find scapular stability. So we wanna make sure we're never sinking into the shoulders and crunching up into the neck. So press up and away from the ground. Draw your right hip back, your left hip forward. Back leg active and engaged, bringing it to a parallel position. Take a few breaths here. Just look forward past your fingers. Slide your shoulders away from your ears. Good correction there, Hannah. Take a deep inhale into the back of your body. Nice deep exhale. See if you guys can draw your right hip back, left hip forward towards the ground just a little bit more. Nice, you guys. Inhale into the sides and the backs of your ribs. And then nice deep exhale. And one more inhale. Try to breathe into the sides and the backs of the ribs and exhale, transition, low lunge. So you're gonna now inhale, lengthen up, press up, walk your hands towards you. So go ahead and straighten your arms now, transition, low lunge. Tuck your back toes and plant your right foot on the mat. Exhale, half splits, lower your back knee down and transfer your weight back. So you want to bring your left hip over your left knee, extend your right leg fully, and then dorsiflex the ankles, or in other words, just flex your foot. Draw your right hip back, your left hip forward, create length in your spine. So engage the abdominals, find a neutral spine, and just gaze at the toes. 